So if you're anything like me, right, you watch you watch mainstream media. I'm going to target CNN right now. CNN is owned by Time Warner Cable, right? That's the parent company. It's a multi-billion dollar market capitalization, about $250 billion publicly traded, right? Publicly traded CNN. And if you're like me, you watch it and you, you get, you get, it makes your fucking blood boil. Yo! Fucking Russia, there is no fucking Russian story, right? It, it makes you angry. It makes you pissed off. And then you, you go out into the community and then you're pissed off. Or you're standing in front of a fucking fake CNN TV. And you say to yourself, it's propaganda. Why? Why are they doing this? So, my new philosophy is love CNN's hate. Because it really is hate speech when you're, when you're in a... You know, in a, in a constitutional democracy like America, like we're supposed to be, you know, right? And they're they're on TV lying and manipulating the truth for for profit, right? For profit. And you say, why? Why would CNN do this? Why? It's not news, okay? We have to redefine the term news, right? News is what I'm doing. I'm telling you. What's happening, I'm telling you, okay, here's, here's probably the problem, that there's now two versions of the news. There's the rich guy's version of the news, right? That's the corporate, the elitist version of the news. And then there's the other 99%, that's the everybody else version of the news, right? That's what we're doing right now, right? Staggering fact, right? See, the, the, the elitists... People want to know why, what is the motive behind disinformation? What is the, what is the motive, what motivates CNN and the, and the like to misinform? And I got to tell you what it is, is there is a, the, the, during, in the last eight years after Obama was elected, a movement towards the Trans-Pacific Partnership, that was the best Example of the glo globalist grab at power, and the the idea is to make the U.S. Constitution and the U.S. way of life that it's always been, with with the Bill of Rights and the amendments, right, and make all that obsolete, right, to make it to make it a, a, a relic. Something of history. Oh, yeah, we used to have a constitution and, and there was this, this thing about, you know, free speech and guns and, you know, the, the, the right to bear arms to protect ourselves from tyranny, right? All that. That's the, we don't need, we don't really need that anymore. It's kind of like what George Bush said about the UN, you know? So what it is, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an idea because they have so much money. Six banks control you know, the wealth of, you know, six major banks control the wealth of, of, of you know, probably 90% of the population. And that's not to include the other ruling class, the people that really don't get any, they don't get the hot light placed on them, which is, you know, the the CEOs of corporations, Lloyd Blankfein at, at Goldman Sachs, Jamie, Jamie Dimon, there's, there's tons of these very wealthy individuals that have an interest in circumventing or obsoleting the Constitution of the United States of America and replacing it with a globalist view. To replace it with a a new world order where we're in charge. We have our own courts. We have our own we have our own everything, everything that we want. Instead of going to those lower courts, you know, where the people go, we, we, we take care of we take care of business. We take care of our, of our own business and our own courts. Right? So, the idea that corporations are people is is a fucking farce. It's total bullshit, right? Corporations, if you haven't forgotten, not you, but CNN, is that. 
corporations are privately, they're, they're public companies. Remember that term? Oh, it's publicly traded. It's traded on the, on the stock market. Publicly traded. It's public. <laughs> it's a public company, so we're, we're acting in the best interest of the public. No, you're acting in the best interest of the shareholders who's a very, who has now, after 2008 crash and transfer of wealth to the, to the even, you know, top, as Bernie says, the top 10, the top, top 1%, 1 or the, the, the top 10%, it's like the one, one in 1,000, uh, you know, of the population that, that wealth has transferred to. So the idea that, that, that companies are publicly traded is not real. Okay, here's another fact, right? I was reading the university, State University of Wisconsin, right, has made a move towards eliminating the majors of English, philosophy, politics. They take it out. We don't need it anymore. <laughs> it's 1984. It's not 1984. It's, it's, it's George Orwell's Animal Farm, where the pigs advance. And they keep the, you know, keep the rest of the animals stupid and sla enslaved so that they can generate more wealth and more comfort for themselves. Right? So, oh, you have, but it's a state, it's a state college, right? University of Wisconsin, who wants to eliminate English and politics and history. <laughs> they want to remove history, American history. So you, you see the concerted effort by a ruling class to dumb people down. Don't teach what do you want to teach politics for? We we got we got, we got you covered. CNN. We got you covered. Don't worry about it. You don't need to read politics. We'll 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 analyze the history for you. Tell you what's going on. Alright? English, don't worry about it. We got that covered too. We'll tell you what we'll tell you what things mean. Don't you don't need to when when we say collusion we'll tell you it's Russia. Uh, they're trying to. They're trying to. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a world class mind fuck, right? And if it, if it allows, if we allow ourselves to get all worked up about it, right? When we watch CNN, I'm I'm targeting CNN because that's the only one I see right now. But every time I I pass by that television, what do I see? I see, I see, Russia investigation, Mueller, Jared Kushner colluding with the Russians. It's all, it's all bullshit to, to take your mind off the ball of the things that I'm talking about right now. It's a globalist grab. They're trying to create all the crimes that they commit, all the crimes that they committed throughout the 2016 election, the, the Democratic primary, where Bernie Sanders, the voice of the people, right, stood up, and the globalist grab picked Hillary Clinton. And, you know, if you were at that convention, if you were at the convention in Philadelphia, the Democratic National Convention, I mean, they basically, you know, silenced the Bernie people and escorted them out the building. When they got up, they, they filled their seats with actors. I mean, this is a this is a massive, this is corruption at a massive level. Like, they're not even hiding it anymore. 54... 54 candidates in 44 congressional districts, Democratic con districts, are running intelligence, people with intelligence background, meaning that they either worked in the intelligence community, FBI, CIA, or they served in Afghanistan and, uh, or, and some other U.S. war, right? Right? Again, these are the first people that fall in line. When shit goes down, so there you or Mike Pompeo being appointed the Secretary of State, a very influential position. The Hillary Clinton redefined it to mean the 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 official laundering, <laughs> the the location of pay for play, where you put the money into a foundation and then the Secretary of State gets you a favor, right? So that's that's really what it's about. Is it Trump doing it? I don't I, I don't think so. I think that Trump is someone who the globalists will tolerate because he's not he's not really 
for the the working people. He doesn't really understand it like a Bernie Sanders. He's more of a he's a globalist. He he believes in all that. He believes in the American way, but he also believes in you know what what's right for me is right. You know he's a, he's a he's a, a rich guy, right? So good morning. Is this a post office? Post office. Yeah, it is. Yeah. New neighborhood. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Try to be, stay out of the community, talk to people. All right. So so anyway, that's the uh, the globalist grab right now. So the idea is to is not to hate, keep hating on CNN and let it get us all worked up, but to actually enjoy the shit show, right? You enjoy the shit show and know why they're doing it. It's not news. It's business, right? They need to dumb people down, and the more people that, the more people become informed. One last point on Facebook. You're seeing Facebook right now. There's bullshit about Facebook as being investigated by the federal government for, right? So that's a that's a power grab right there. Because Facebook, if you remember during the Bernie Sanders uh, campaign, right, that that the Bernie Sanders supporters were being targeted with rhetoric about about uh, Bernie being a, a you know a chump and a and a, and a sheep dog and, and, and unelectable and, and too old and too fat and too stupid too Jewish too this too that too that right so the attack was on Bernie Sanders it was never on Hillary Clinton in my view it only became a, a, about Hillary Clinton after she cheated you know, cheated Bernie Sanders, and that was the Bernie Sanders people. You know, 40 million people got robbed, 170, $270 million, you know, in campaign contributions taken out of their pocket. Some of that money was, you know, people that they only had $5 and they sent it to Bernie, right? All those people, the, the visceral reaction of being robbed in that election was what you saw targeted at Hillary Clinton and the Democrats. That wasn't Russia. That was the Bernie people. Okay? So, what better way, you know, frame the Bernie people as Russian spies? Because all that organization was done on Facebook. Right? That's where all the chat rooms were. That's where all the the organizational, the the, the leftists were. We were leftists at the time, right? We're all on Facebook. So now, what what, what you're going to see in Facebook is is very very simple, right? The FBI, the CIA, the, the, the deep state has now approached Zuckerberg and they're trying to formulate a, 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 a charge against him for conspiring with the Russians, right? Allowing, allowing interference. Oh, he's selling off our information. Now that, that information, who gives a shit? I put pictures of my cat on fucking Facebook. I don't care if you look at the pictures of my fucking cat, right? What it is, it's a power play so that as the 2018 elections roll around, as the 2020 elections roll around, and the bees come back to Facebook and start to organize again and pick a candidate and get very loud, so they lost control of that narrative the last time. They can't let that happen again. So what they're going to do is the federal government's going to press Facebook and Zuckerberg and say, look, you're letting these... You're letting these Russian groups, anti-Americans, anti-constitutionalists, they're the fucking anti-constitutionalists. They're the ones who want to take the take the U.S. Constitution and throw it in the garbage. Right? So that's what you're going to see. You're going to see these, these, these member groups uh, of leftist thinkers, free thinkers, right, attacked and deleted from the equation. Get rid of them. Right? Delete that group because they're, they're uh, you know, and that's that's how you diffuse the the bees. Sure, we'll reorganize and all that, but that's that's the play right there with Facebook. Facebook is now compromised, so it's not a legitimate place to organize and and communicate globally. We have to find another one. YouTube's good. Subscribe to my channel. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm an investigative journalist. And Plaintiff and Conti vs. DSNY, case number 101058-2016. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Make a donation. This is how we stay alive. I put up another video of other uh, investigative journalists around the country. 
Go visit their channels, watch their news. This is the news. This is real news. Not fake bullshit. Peace out.